Okay, here we go. We are on top of the world, man. Uh, so we don't want to go that way. We want to go off that direction. Here we go. Woohoohoo! Look at this, baby! Welcome back, everybody, to Subsistence. I'm an old guy gaming, and in this episode, we are going to go where only eagles dare. Um, that is to say, we are going to go hunt for some more eagle feathers. Uh, so we're going to grab our coat for this, because uh, where we're going is going to be really cold. And um, we might even bring the heat pad thingamadoodle with us, just in case. Let's grab an extra soup and an extra steak and eggs to take for the road, but we're not quite ready to eat that yet. And we might even grab a couple of canteens so we have some beverage. Unless I have... Oh, I do have one of these. Um, okay, yeah, let's take one of those with us. And maybe just an extra canteen. Okay, let's get started. So we're going to head on up into the mountains. Uh, right up behind our house here. We'll start with there. Uh, start there, rather. And, of course, if we come across any... How many shotgun shells? I don't have a ton of shotgun shells. Uh, need more casings, but I like how my dude can just run straight up a hill like that with like not even a missing a beat. It's just funny. Uh, not very realistic either. Anyway, um, I'm gonna switch back to uh, normal rounds. I'm gonna save the incendiaries for hunters. And um, <clears throat> if we come across any mountain lions, we will take them out. But uh, our main goal is to get way up into the high, high mountains and see if we can get some more eagle's nests. Uh, we actually only need three more feathers to make the hang glider. And it occurred to me <clears throat> that maybe the purpose of the hang glider is so w once you do climb up to the eagle's nest, then you can just glide back down. Now, granted, that is fun. There's no question about it that that's really fun and really cool. However... The only reason you go to the eagle's nest in the first place is to get the feathers to make the hang glider. So, I don't know how sustainable that is. <laughs> Unless th those feathers are used for something else that I'm not aware of. But as far as I know, that's the only thing they're used for. Too bad you could make, like, super duper double-decker premium arrows with them or something like that. I don't know. Uh, but anyway, let's um, head to the really, really high mountains. Um, I have been... I don't know if I ever told you guys this, but I actually did trek all the way behind on the other side of the mountain, all the way back down to the Glacier Valley. Uh, when I did it, it was kind of just, um, you know, an unplanned thing, I guess. And I didn't have my winter coat with me, and I just about froze to death. And it was like in the freaking summertime, too, or at least the, the late spring when I did that. But uh, I've never actually been all the way up to this peak um well and even even when i did made that little trip it was still al along the base of the mountain so this is really kind of our first time coming this high up on the mountain which is pretty cool uh both literally and figuratively so we are just looking for eagle's nests look at this place up here man you could build the base up here that'd be a pain in the ass though i mean you'd have unlimited water from the snow but yeah. All the other resources would not be very accessible. Uh, but it is kind of neat up here, though. Okay, well, let's, um, <clears throat> excuse me, let's move towards this peak here. I know we have a little bit of frost on our screen, but as long as we don't start actually taking damage, we can handle minus five and a half, um, you know, even with just our normal clothing on here. Okay. Uh, let's get these on the toolbar to... Okay, there we go. We are cold now, so we want to put this on. <clears throat> Damn, it's minus 8 up here. Woo! We're still cold. I'm just kind of take a quick look, or trying to take a quick look to see if I can spot any eagle's nests. This is a, probably about as high as you can get on this map. We are literally... On top of the world, looking down on creation. Very cool. But no eagle's nest up here. And so we probably better think about 
I'm just... I'm sure we could probably see them from up here if they were up here. So I'm gonna say probably none around this way. So let's get down. We'll go look on kind of on the other side of those peaks too. Oh, that's not what I needed to do. The <laughs> son of a bitch. Uh, on the other side of those peaks. All right, here we can fix this. We have the technology. Oh shit, we don't have the technology because I don't have any wood on me. Uh, Houston? We've just made a big mistake. Mother. All right. Uh, we're going to have to limp along until we find a tree. And there aren't any, there's nothing on this side of the mountain. It's completely barren. It's just snow and the fence line. Crap. <laughs> Shit. Okay, well, um... That's not good. That is not good at all. All right, you guys. Well, I guess I'm going to cut the camera here. I have a very long limp back to a tree. Once I can make, you know, get a tree, then I can make a splint and then all this good. But yeah, it's going to take me a little while. So I'll see you in about 500 years from now. Maybe. All right. We finally made it to a tree here. Get some wood so we can make some sticks so we can make a splint. Make that guy and then make this guy. Okay. Let's um, eat our food here. It'll help get us some health back and all of that. I'm going to put this back on for now until and unless we start getting cold again. All right. So, oh, I need to put the splint on, actually. Yeah. All right. Let's go back up and kind of look more around this area now. It could be that the nests are only going to be on, like, the sheer, the really sheer cliffs. So we'll kind of look along here. And see if we can spot anything. And try not to to fall this time. You know what we're going to do, <coughs> excuse me, too, is we're going to make a couple more of those just in case. Oh, man. A storm's coming in. Hmm. I don't think we want to be up on this mountain during a storm. I'm just kind of having that little bit of a thought there. Well, let's just, we'll watch it. Um, let's go up to this peak here. Yeah, we're getting cold again. We don't really need our, our armor, armor jacket on up here, combat jacket up on here anyway. I don't think hunters come up this high. Um, all right, that's not, that doesn't look safe. So let's kind of peek down this way, very carefully peek down this way. Yeah, see, we're starting to get cold. All right, we're going to have to go down lower. Maybe the eagle's nest actually aren't even up this high, I don't know. Uh, it's the first time I've ever tried to look for them, so... Couldn't say for sure. But we are cold with the rain. That, um, you know, cold tolerance that we can handle, that only applies to when we're dry. When we're wet, then the tolerance level goes down. I am not seeing anything. Oh, there's an eagle's nest down there. Okay. So how do we get over there safely? That is... Um, can we come along here? Oh, man, this is iffy. This is iffy. I think we're okay, as long as I don't sprint. Now, we're going to be... We're going to get attacked at some point, I'm assuming, once we raid this nest. My guess is that as soon as you raid the nest, the eagle 
that it belongs to comes after you, but it could be, you know, a ways away. So that's why it took a long time for it to get to us last time. Maybe. I don't know. I'm just guessing. I have no idea if that's exactly how it works. But the nest is somewhere on this cliff, but I can't quite see it from here. It might be easier for us to climb down as opposed to up. Just depends upon how far up the cliff it is, I guess. Let's come down this way. Okay, so it's right there. Uh, I don't know. I'm going to say it's probably six one half does the other in terms of which way is faster. So let's just go ahead and go up here. I should throw these axes in the workbench upgrade slot and see if there's any way you anything you can do to upgrade them like make them faster or something actually they're pretty fast though really they're not bad yeah I don't know it might have been faster for us to come down from the top but that's okay okay oh there we go Okay, we got three feathers. So now we have three at the base, and then we got these three. So we have enough to make the hang glider. Let's just climb all the way to the top and then get ready for the eagle attack. If I shoot it with the bow, I'm assuming we can get more pristine arrow or feathers from, the, from it. But again, what are we going to do with it? Maybe we need them to... Oh, I bet you we need them to repair the hang glider. Um... What the hell? Oh. All right. So let's get this out and just kind of keep our eyes peeled. Yeah, maybe that's why you would need to continue to getting them because maybe you have to use them to prepare, uh, repair the hang glider. Could be. So, you know, I, I could see, and I did mention this before, but I guess I could see the use of the hang glider. You know, let's say, for example, I'm, I'm way in the north and I'm looting. Or I'm heading to the north, and, uh, you know, I want to get back home quicker. All I have to do is really come up to the mountain and then jump off on the hang glider, and then I can fly at least part of the way home. So uh, I see the use of that. I'm down with that idea. All right, so we're just looking for more nests and kind of waiting to see if we're going to get attacked here. Maybe, the, maybe you don't get attacked every time. Maybe it's a random thing. I'm not really sure. Or maybe you have to stay within a certain, you know, range of the nest. This sure was a crappy day to decide to storm on our, our first mountaineering day here. Okay. Well, we're getting kind of back down into mountain lion territory here. But let's go... Let's kind of stay at the very base of the mountain and look around towards the other side. Just see. What I could do is try and make that trip along the backside of the mountain again. No, that's probably not a good idea with this damn storm. Uh, and which would bring us out, you know, at the glacier area. And then we could go back to that first place and just see if that nest is still there. The more I think about it, the more I think maybe they do stay in the same place. Because when I looted that nest, it didn't disappear. And something that is going to, uh, you know, respawn in a random place probably would disappear after you looted it. But there's really only one way to confirm that for sure. And that is, of course, to go back over there. We'll probably be okay um weather wise but i don't have any more food with me i mean I, I don't have any more protein with me uh how are we doing yeah i don't know i don't know if that's a good idea because that's a long walk and there's nothing at all along here it's just barren huh yeah uh, i think my common sense side of me, the common sense side of me is telling me that's not a good idea. So I guess what we'll do is let's get down lower and 
I think I'm going to cut the camera here, guys, and just meet you back at the base, and we'll make the hang glider. And then we'll take it out and test it. So, yeah, I'll see you back at the base. All right, guys, we are back at the base. Uh, I just uh, found a new chicken here uh, to replace the other one. So we now have some fresh chickens. And we have uh, two whole chickens in the fridge. Plus, I've already made six chicken dinners. Uh, we're probably not quite hungry enough to eat this, but let's just see. Oh, we are. Nice. Okay. Boom, baby. That gets us up to 119 on our health cap. Oh, it's a beautiful thing. Absolutely beautiful thing. Okay. Okay. So we got that done. Uh, let's see. What are we doing? Uh, we are going to burn those. And do I have anything else? I don't have anything else for the the mass, dude. So to make the um, to make this, we need 175 mass. We have the power, but we don't have the mass. So um, let's take half of this. Actually, let's take half of it again. And... Maybe we'll hang on to, say, 20 of those. And we'll feed this in there. We might... We're probably just going to have to end up... Oh, that got us up to 170. How much do we need again? 175. Okay, sh no problem. You know what we're going to do? Hmm. Uh, once these all burn, that should get us where we need to go. That should get us where we need to go. Uh, this one even might just by itself... Yeah, it will. Okay. That should get us up to 175. Beautiful. All right. So, what do we need to make this hang glider? We need six pristine feathers, eight crystals, 12 hide, and 18 sticks. So, let's make some sticks here. We have five, so seven, nine, 11, 13, 15, 17, and that'll be 19, but that's good enough. Okay, so we got that done. Uh, we needed some hide. I can't remember how much we needed. We'll grab these six uh, pristine eagle feathers. By the way, I have a, a hundred and two premium feathers now. Um, so I might just make a crap ton of uh, premium arrows. It does require crystal and iron. The iron, of course, you know, we, we have. Uh, the crystal means we're going to need to make some more cave runs, which we're going to do anyway. Uh, so that's going to happen one way or the other and our next cave run is going to be on the in the north cave that's the plan anyway uh, so let's get some more of this going all right so you guys are burned and you guys are burnt let's just throw these in there too beautiful okay um i think do we have everything we need now oh eight crystals right one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of those. And we have ourselves a hang glider. Woot! This is awesome, man. I'm looking forward to trying this sucker out. Okay. So, um, 
we want to, you know, I'm going to have to, of course, wait for the storm to finish. Plus, it's still, it's starting to get light out. <coughs> so, I think what I'll do, guys, is just cut the camera here and wait till uh, full daylight and also for the storm to abate. Hopefully, it will. And then I'll meet you guys up back in the mountains, and we are going to try the hang glider for the first time. Very excited, so I'll see you in a bit. We have a base attack going on. I just shot the dude with an incendiary round. Let's see if we can finish him off now with just a pistol round. Uh, two rounds. That works for me. I think he's the only guy out here. Okay. Got a shotgun shell out of the deal. And an extra arrow. There you go. All right, guys. Well, as you can see, it's still raining. So <clears throat> let's, uh, I'm going to wait a little bit longer and hopefully we can, uh, get a clear day here in a little while and try out the hang glider. I have it right here. So, uh, what do we just lose? Electrical components and cordage. Uh, I was just getting ready to go do the garden, too. Oh, I know what. I'm going to make some arrows. So, let's get that going. That frees us up a slot. Um, electrical components are a little bit more important than cordage, so we'll take that. I don't have room for the, the steel. Unless we make another bandage. And then we'll grab the steel. Okay, anyway, I'll uh, see you guys a little later on today when the weather clears up. All right, guys, we are back. Uh, the storm has finally decided to go away. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to go up into the mountains. We're going to fill these with snow because I need to do so. And then uh, fly back down with the hang glider. Never done this before. Uh, does it tell us what we're supposed to do? Will automatically deploy while falling to glide to safety. Must be equipped from the toolbar. Okay. So I'm assuming there's some controls on it, like maybe the arrow keys or something. I thought I saw that somewhere. Maybe it was back in the workbench, but we'll we'll give it a try and see how well it works. Looking forward to trying out this hang glider. Yes, indeed. We got a carrot seat up here. Let's grab that. We're going to be full before we even get up there. Um, if that's iron, we are grabbing it. I think it is. We have room? Barely. Uh, that, well, is it? Yeah, it is. Can't pass up Iron Man. Iron Man. Iron Man. <laughs> you know, we might have to just fill the canteens... Yeah, damn it. Gunpowder, gunpowder, and gunpowder. Uh, get rid of this. We might just have to fill the canteens up at the snow here and then come back home and drop those off because I'm just not going to have enough room otherwise. <clears throat> Let's avoid that stupid wolf for now since we can't do anything with him anyways. All right, can we fill here? Yeah. Okay, yeah, let's just take this back and um, get rid of it so we have some room in our inventory. And then we'll head up higher. There's a deer, but I'm not going to go after that guy right now. <clears throat> I pretty much kill deer with my bow anymore, but it usually takes anywhere from two. Well, usually no more than three with this recurve, upgraded recurve bow. And I can bring down a deer with one shot. If it's a level one and I get, you know, a good headshot, but that's easier said than done. But I don't feel like chase. Oh man, the weather's turning crappy on us again. Doggone it. This is just not a good weather day for our first flight. All right, well, here, let's stick all this stuff in here. And I'll worry about. I left a couple of canteens behind, but that's probably just as well. I'll worry about the rest of those later. Let's just top this off and put some stuff away so you can go in there, you can go in there, uh, you can go in there, put the K 
carrots in here and split this in half. Okay, let's try this again. So this time we're just gonna go up high and, and fly. We're gonna go high and fly. Seriously? Um, can I even get to that? I don't know if I can. I wouldn't care if it wasn't iron. Can I do this? Nope. <laughs> okay. Well, now we know. <laughs> now we know. I wasn't sure if we were going to be able to or not. Okay, let's scooch on up the hill here. Get up into the high places and then fly on down. We might run into a cougar up here, but if we do, we'll kill him. Good on chickens. Don't need a new one of those right now. So for our first flight, let's maybe fly from up here so we're not until I can kind of figure out how this works so we don't just go splat. But we could probably jump off of here and just kind of fly that way. <clears throat> okay, so let me read this again. <clears throat> it will automatically deploy while falling to glide to safety. Okay, so it's on the toolbar and I think we just jump and then it opens up. Okay, here we go. Will automatically deploy while falling? Um, no. What the hell? It says automatically deploy, which means I shouldn't have to press the button to deploy it. Oh, shit. All right, here. I want to get that crate, so we're going to have to kill the cougar. We'll go down and get a tree. You know, next time I come up into the high mountains, I should bring just bring a splint with me. You know what I'm saying? It should just happen. It should just be part of our M.O., all right, I'll go down and grab him in a second. Let's get this crate. And chop this tree so I can make a friggin' splint. Maybe we'll make two splints. Is it... Was it a deal where I didn't fall long enough? I don't know. Yeah, we'll make... We're going to make two of these. Okay, let's limp over to the cougar while we're waiting for it. We got that fixed. All right. Um, yeah, I mean, maybe I didn't fall far enough. I don't know. Or fall for long enough, I should say, for it to deploy. Let's go up to this point here. See, that's not... I'm thinking that's maybe not a sheer enough drop. Let's go over to this cliff here and try it over here. Okay. 
So what we're going to do is get another run and jump. Must be equipped from the tool belt. Must be equipped from the... Oh, wait. Are you saying it has to be up here? No. It's on the tool belt. How do I equip it, though? Oh, 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 I have to, oh, duh, <laughs> I have to actually pull it out first. Oh my goodness, you guys are probably face palming me big time. Okay, here we go, here we go, here we go. Woo! Right on, no, 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 whoa, what just happened? Um, was I hitting the wrong key? Oh, shit. <laughs> Okay, let's run up back up there and get it. Ah, uh, hold on a sec. Well, no, not hold on a second. We got to get our stuff back, like pronto. Um, we're gonna freeze our nuts off going up there too. But my coat's up there and everything. So I didn't really have enough time to figure out what key to press. Okay, here's our stuff. Let's put that on. We'll turn that into some free cloth. Put the shoes on. Our pantalones and those. Oh, man. I wish this would put all of our stuff back where it was. But it doesn't. Um, let's see, we want uh, medical stuff in here, we want that there, and uh, the climbing, no, the, yeah, we'll put that there. Okay, so let's try this again. Um, what I, what I think I need to do is press the down key for it to pitch up. We're going to try that, and if that doesn't work and we bite the dust again, then the next time we'll try the up key. Alright, here we go. Okay, we're going to press the down key. Yeah, there we go. Okay. It's the down key. I don't know, uh exactly how I screwed that up last time, but woo, look at us flying! Oh, this is awesome. Yeah, I definitely want to do this in third person. I love it. Let's see if we can catch a bit of an updraft to stay airborne a little bit longer. Doesn't look like it kind of works that way. This is great, man. Oh, there's a there's a chest down here. And we just do a nice little gentle landing like that. All right. So that was fun. We figured it out the second time around. Uh, all right. Why don't we... What I want to do is... Uh, let's just leave that cougar alone for now. Actually, I need to load this up. <clears throat> let's get let's get a little higher this time and... Um, you know, see how... how far we can go from like really high up so we're going to go all the way up to the top of the peak there and uh, you know try it from there hey I wonder can we can we fly over there At least we can fly part way over there anyway. Yeah, it doesn't seem to stay airborne a real long time. But of course, you know, we weren't we didn't take off from a very high location either, so What I'd like to do is see if I can fly down to our northern outpost base from up here. 
we're gonna have to clear that mountain over there for that to work um, actually let's go around here well you know what it might be better for us to take off from that mountain unless we can take off from this one and just kind of fly around it turned out to be a nice afternoon with the sun out look how beautiful the sky is in this game so realistic looking I love it all right let's come around to here it is chilly up here can we get all the way up here? Uh, just about can uh, what about these Oh, there we go. Okay. It wasn't giving me the option to to climb there. Okay, here we go. We are on top of the world, man. Uh, so we don't want to go that way. We want to go off that direction. Here we go. Woo-hoo-hoo! -hoo! Look at this, baby! Yeah, I don't know. We're probably not going to be able to clear around this mountain... I should have probably gone around to the right, but that's okay. We might be able to actually scooch through here and then go around. Yeah, we should be able to do that. Oh, this is awesome. We can't really get too far over that way. Oh, yeah, there's the fence right there. Okay. What happens if we try and go over the fence? Uh, I'll bet you we crash. No, let's not try that. Okay, let's just set down right here. I don't want to die again, man. We just lost a whole shit ton of health cap from that death. Um, okay, so we should be able to shoot right down that way. Look at us go, man. Look at us go. This is so cool. <laughs> and it's also cold, too. All right, so the fence is kind of curving around that way, so don't need to worry about it. Okay, so what we want to do here is we want to see if we can fly all the way to our outpost. Um, let's look on the map. What the heck? Oh, 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 oh. Uh. Woo, air sickness. <laughs> I guess it's we don't use the map when we're flying? Really? Um, it didn't seem like we were actually spinning out of control, but apparently Cold Games doesn't want us to use the map when we're in the hang glider. Okay, well, fair enough. Here's our outpost down here. Woo, picking up speed, baby. Uh, we got a damn wolf there. Shit. Go away, wolf. All right, man. How fun is that? How fun is that? Okay, let's butcher this guy. That was a pretty, pretty long trip. So the question that I have now is... Can we use this hang glider to shorten the trip between our northern outpost and our main base? Obviously, we're going to have to get up high enough for that to work. So, um, yeah, we're going to have to cli climb back up the mountain partway. So let's, um, I don't think I need to do anything here. I, I want to check something, though. Do I have antidotes in here? I do. I've got two. Okay. Uh, we are really low on food. Eh, I don't want to start that, though. Oh, yeah. We got protein bars. Let's just eat a bunch of protein bars. And we'll eat some blueberries. And we'll drink one of these. And then I'll leave the canteen. Actually, let's drink two of those. 
There, that gets us in pretty good shape. We'll eat two more of these, too. Um, yeah, all right. That's why we have an outpost, so we can do stuff like that. Okay, so <clears throat> we're going to have to get high enough up again to once again deploy oops, the, the hang glider. We don't necessarily have to climb all the way to the top of the mountain like before, but you know, high enough for us to make enough of a trip to make it worthwhile because there's our base that way. So really the question is, is it worth it to run up to the mountain to glide down or are we still going to be further ahead just running straight back to the base? I mean, doing the glide thing is going to be a lot more fun, but and while I'm thinking about it too, what does it take to repair this? Yeah, see, it takes eagle feathers, so we're still going to have to go after the eagle feathers, which is fine. I kind of figured that was the case, and it makes sense. Okay, so if we... Oh, you know what? There's this kind of pride rock-looking thing over here. I wonder if that would be enough to... Eh, I don't think so. I don't think that we're going to get enough altitude off of that to, to be able to glide all the way home. Let's look at it anyway. I'm just, again, I'm trying to look for a shortcut home so we don't have to run all the way back home. Yeah, I mean, I'm sure we can jump off of here, but we're going to probably land right down, you know, in that area and not be able to clear that. So we're going to have to go higher if, we're, if we want this to work in our favor. So let's go up this way. There is um, a, a chest up here that we can grab too. So we might as well do that. Okay. So let's put our coat on. It is chilly. We want if we came all the way up to here. Um well here, let's actually go this way. We want to kind of walk around this way. So here from here we should be able to do it. So if we just kind of jumped off of of this. Yeah, okay. I mean, that doesn't save us a huge amount of time, but it saves us a little bit of time. And it, like I said, it's it's more fun, too. <laughs> it's more fun to glide. I know it's really dark. You guys can't see very well now. It's kind of neat to do this in first person, too, but my arms are invisible. Oh, you know what, though? I can't really see very well here. Well, we got close. Closer, anyway. Can we do like, um, like a little short hop? Like this? Yeah. We can do little short hops. Ooh, okay, so that, that has possibilities. If we could even just do little short bunny hops, um... No, that would we didn't fall that far enough there. Uh, I need to get my pick so we can get this iron. All right, guys, that was a lot of fun. Uh, we died once, but you know, we had to figure out how it worked. Well, no, actually, we, yeah, we died once because the first time when I didn't have the the glider equipped, we just broke our leg. We didn't die. But the second time, I don't want to kill that stupid bear right now. Okay. The second time, uh, we died because I didn't know how to work the controls correctly. But now we figured it out. Very good. All right, you guys. Well, I'm going to let you go here. I think um, for our next episode, we're going to go hit the northern cave. Um, and so I got to get geared up for that and make sure we have, you know, plenty of um, supplies uh, but that is the plan for the next episode. So, guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment and share the video. And we'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.